a rather new attraction in uh, Romania was born a couple of years ago uh, actually there are uh, more than one places doing the same thing basically is the a field of lavender called lavender oh, land and as you can see it's quite popular I would dare to say it's more popular than other touristic attractions we've visited so far more popular than the castle and as Eddie put it more people came to see the lavender than Michael the Brave and as Eddie put it only a public execution would gather these many people No, I'm too good. So this is the popular lavender land. Is um, it's nice. It's a lot of lavender. Uh, you have to buy a small lavender bouquet to get in and take pictures. That's 10 lei. 10 lei to come see the lavender per person. Uh, unless you're a child. Kids don't have to pay. They don't get it, I guess. And uh, it's quite sunny. I know sunny. how important it, it is for you to come here. Yeah, so. It's like uh, a mecca for uh, Instagram. Uh, what Eddie is trying to say is that uh, for the past few years taking a picture in a lavender field has become uh, one of the uh, mainstream uh, trends on social media Instagram in particular and uh, there were a lot of ladies that were taking pictures in a lavender fields like super nice and glamorous and high heels and nice dresses stuff like that and i recently stated on social media I that, right there. Yeah, like these girls over there yeah. and i recently stated that it's a very egocentric thing to do um and i see no artistic input into it and no substance so i guess that makes me a bit of a how you call that? Hypocrite. Hypocrite, yes! So, welcome to the lavender field and say hello to Julia the hypocrite because today I'm here to see the lavender. Truth to be told, everybody wants, all girls want a picture in a lavender field because look at it, it's quite it's nice. You go into a mall and you, and you get a hook like a you know, fishing hook. Uh -huh. You put this little fishing hook and you throw it. You get like two or three girls coming after it right away. Um, but um, you know what? It's a thing. Like, just I see it as a touristic attraction that I want to mention it on my vlog. So that's why I included it in this uh, trip. <laughs> it was still a last minute thing, so wasn't really planned. Anyway, um, also at the entrance, um, the people that have this uh, land and uh, charge the entrance fee, they said that tomorrow they're gonna start cutting the lavender. So basically, this is like the maximum lavender levels that you're gonna get because tomorrow they're gonna cut it. Like you can see here, there's no lavender in this row. So, yeah, call me lucky. Oh, and I forgot to say that you can buy lavender oil and salt and all kind of things, biscuits even. Look at the bees. Pick your lavender bush.
<laughs> yeah, okay. Lavender goes back to lavender. You want the sexy pose? Today Eddie is going to show us a few uh, very uh, Instagrammable poses in the land of uh, lavender. Number one. One. You sit like this. Crouching tiger is what I call it. And you go like this. Number one. Number two. <laughs> you pick up the lavender. Lavender. And you smell it. While looking at the sun. Number three, you rub your belly while looking at the lavender. Number four, you run to the lavender. Back. In you five? Do this four. No, these are the only acceptable four lavender photos. If you do these four, Instagram success is guaranteed. I give to you lavender. The lavender field as much as you can run through. There's a corn field over there, but never mind that. A piece of a uh, color you know you can leave all of your winter clothes here yeah no moths will ever approach yeah wow look at this amount of lavender it's just for the bees you cannot hear it but trust me it's a constant uh, buzzing sound from the bees they are basically all over the flowers but I don't think we are in any kind of dangerous because I'm they, allergic to bees so and I still you're running through the lavender field I think they're more preoccupied with the flowers than with the people. As you can see, there are people everywhere and the bees don't care. Although, uh, at the beginning of the field where they sell the lavender oil and stuff, uh, there was a lady complaining that she was... Uh, how do you go? Bitten by a bee? Okay, yeah. okay, they don't have teeth. Stung. Stung! Oh, I forgot. So there was a lady at the beginning of the field where they sell the oil. Come on, Eddie. That uh, was complaining that was she was stung by a bee. But I hear lavender oil makes you uh, like, well, I don't know. I suppose I I should have uh, kept that for myself because Eddie is like super paranoid with bees. Anyway, let's get some pictures and get out of here. Direction. Again. Inappropriate direction. Taylor Swift is law of A. Comes out this month. It's almost as good as lavender fields. It was our short stop at the lavender field. Super hot. Probably the view, the the light Thank is you. better <laughs> at the sunset. It's almost seven, I guess, but still it's summer, so. Nice. Still up? Really up. Oh. Um, the land is still full of people. It's impossible to not get them in your picture. But there's no point because everybody has a picture from here at this point. Nu te mai grăbi. Te duci de-a lungul tratului până vezi un loc unde poți să treci. 